I'm getting married. Ah. I have to keep saying it to like realize like Kiana, you getting married today. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really, really excited about this vlog this week. If you read the title, you already know, we decided to elope. Instead of our traditional wedding, we can self-officiate our own wedding. So it will be literally just me, him, and Callie, who's in the back. She probably won't show herself since she is very camera shy. I just got my hair pressed this morning. She made sure it was straight, straight, and I typically don't like my hair being this straight. I like the body in it, I like the movements. But either way, this is what we got, so I'm gonna have to make it work. We've been getting some really cool shots as we've been driving too, just of the mountains. I don't know why I didn't really think we were gonna be seeing mountains on this drive, but it's been really, really pretty. So I'm really excited to see what our Airbnb looks like. We kind of stayed in this, I forgot what it's called. I think it's an atrium or like an A-shaped house. I'm hoping that it has a lot of sunlight. I'm sure with the snow and stuff, it's gonna be even more pretty. Um, so again, excited to start this new journey together, being married. Um, yeah, and when we return, we'll be Mr. and Mrs. Mormon. Check in with you guys a little bit later. get up in this house but we made it in really excited I want to give you guys a tour I may do a separate video I know I keep touching my hair that's how well, that's what happens when you get your hair done you just be like finicking in it be all new and stuff but I think I'm gonna do a house tour this place is so cute I was like what the hell <laughs> it was the heater but this place is really really cute I think we're about to eat some food now I'm starving we didn't realize this place didn't have a TV, so that's different. But luckily we brought our devices anyways. I plan on being like low-key, not on like social media and stuff this week anyway, so it won't be changing too much with the whole no TV and stuff, but I do kind of want to watch a movie or something, but we made it in, guys. Just an update. We're here. We survived. Callie, look, Tinka. Tinka's here with us. She was hyped to get out. This is really cool. I think she's gonna have a lot of fun discovering out here because it's a lot of land. So, yeah. I don't think I got anything else for you guys. Um, Callie is literally scared to come down these stairs. She is so spooked, bro. Like, she dead ass. She, no, to her credit, these stairs are steep as crap. Like, I'm not gonna lie, they're really steep. But Callie is like, you have to like coach her down. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, bro. Come on, I believe in you. Come on. Come on, you got it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Success. Now let's eat. <laughs> okay guys this is my wedding day like <laughs> what literally so beautiful Guan's calling me to go around back i wasn't gonna wake up <laughs> look at that guys wow stunning 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 i wasn't gonna wake up this early but Guan was like oh my gosh you had to see the sunrise um and kelly's been super hype all morning so I was like, let me get up and look at this Totally worth it. Hi, Stinka. Good morning. Oh, are you cold? I know you gotta be cold. Come on, show me daddy. Where's daddy? Ooh. 
I just follow your steps. Y'all, yeah, look how deep the snow is. I need your help, though. Bye, y'all. So this is the fire pit. We didn't come up here. It was super late last night, so we couldn't see anything. But wow, guys, look at this. I think that's, I don't know. That's wow. Yeah, quite literally. And she's enjoying herself in this cold. I wish I had something for her, y'all. Like, literally, this is our wedding day sunrise. Like, wow. You made it. You made it. Wedding day. <laughs> it's freezing out here. Oh, it's cold as y'all, but when I say it's so beautiful, ugh. You guys probably just finished watching um, the sunrise. Like, wow, right? Wow, that was a beautiful sunrise. Like, I didn't expect that this morning. I was still asleep, and Kelly and Quan had got up. Quan gets up way earlier than I do. I typically, don't get up until like maybe ten, maybe earliest. Um, so I don't usually catch sunrise periods. But he woke me up. I think he was just trying to like set up the camera and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, and I just like peeked my head over, and I was like what the sunrise is gorgeous and like this view is just literally it's so beautiful guys so beautiful 10 out of 10 would recommend i just realized i'm wearing an airbnb shirt and i'm at an airbnb this is not sponsored yet by the way not yet eventually one day we will start getting sponsorships and whatever but um, this is kind of cool <laughs> very fitting i got this shirt from college it was like at a career fair or i, made, I think i actually might have stole this one from my friend but either way yes i keep flipping my hair i, I told y'all it's a habit i'm not trying to like look at me it's just it truly is just a habit but i want to sit down really quickly i just finished doing my face routine we're about to run to target to get some stuff we did go shopping beforehand we went to the grocery store before we left so we wouldn't have to do this here but we got everything we got food we got champagne we got all the words everything but some actual juice and water so yeah we're about to run to target and get that but i wanted to sit down just because i'm really i'm in awe with this morning i feel it's such peace we had a really good worship and just prayer bible reading and stuff this morning which isn't a, like a not a non-typical thing in our house but i don't know it felt really really good to do it this morning with him and it, of course the sunset and the beauty that we're around it's like it, icing on top right but i don't know it's just so amazing to see how we got to this point here like when me and Quan first started dating, I don't know if you know, a lot of people probably don't know, but we started celibate. Uh, we've been dating for three years, <laughs> so we didn't have sex for a very long time. And what that really did was build a foundation like on God was for us. And to see that this like is how it ended up, like <laughs> that ended up being my husband. Like one of the things for me, it was so rare like to find a man who was like, also willing to go on my celibacy journey with me most time people be like oh yeah that's fine and then you know guys they'll try to convince you otherwise but like, when i told him it's like it was something that he truly he actually like took a mission upon himself to get closer with god through that and our relationship i'm trying not to get emotional but it has grown so beautifully and it really is nothing but god i can't praise him enough for allowing this <laughs> ah. <laughs> 
I'm trying to like still just show my emotions. I feel like most of the time I would hop off camera when I start getting emotional, but like, it's nothing wrong with getting emotional. I try to remind myself, it's not, tears, it's nothing wrong with tears. It's normal. It's actually abnormal for us to hide it so many times, but I have to tell myself that. But just to see how we got to this point here and like, to see how God came was in our relationship all the way throughout, even to the point where we met and stuff like that. It's just like, it's so... It's so beautiful and I'm just really thankful to be marrying him. He's such an amazing man. Like one of the traits that like I picked up on very early is how kind he is, but not just like kind to me. Like he's kind to everyone. Um Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me just like pull it together really quickly. Hi baby. But he's kind to everyone, like everyone he meets and that was just something in him that I was just like, wow, that's like so rare to find somebody who's this, this is kind and patient. And throughout my relationship, he has shown me that so many times in points where, in periods of my life where I thought like nobody would ever love me, like nobody would ever accept me. He has shown me and accepted me through all of it. And it's just, I'm just really, really thankful to have him, to be marrying him. And it's just, if you get anything out of this, it's just like, Having God in your life and having God be the person who actually shows you like this is the person you need to be with and like have him move in your life versus you trying to go out and do it for yourself. I promise y'all it's so worth it. It's so worth it. So yeah, I'm just really thankful. As you can tell, I'm getting emotional. Um, I've been em I'm an emotional person, but um, I'm just really, really excited to be marrying him today. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just really, really happy. So these are happy tears my friends ask me that all the time because i have such an ugly crying face like to the point where it looks like i'm almost mad when i'm crying but i'm really really happy and yeah i'm ready to start this journey with him i know this was the right decision i was so nervous coming up here i had so many missed emotions just on how people are going to react to it and if people will be upset because you know they weren't involved and it was really kind of weighing on me and just like how i feel today it just reminded me like this is the way we were supposed to do it god is in the midst if nobody else is here he's the only person who needs to be in attendance and it's gonna be fine yeah i just wanted to jump on just say good morning and i'm really really happy to have you guys on this journey to like be able to see moments like this i'm happy that i'll have something to look back and just share like my raw emotions and like really what happened on today so yeah i'm not gonna keep crying <laughs> i probably will keep crying but yeah i love you guys and family and friends i know you guys are probably watching this thank you for being so understood <laughs> i'm literally about to tear up Thank you guys for being so understanding. We know this is usually a moment that you would share with family and friends. So I really hope that you still feel like you're a part of this. Get a chance to see two people who are like head over here in love with each other. So yeah, <laughs> I'm going to stop talking. I feel like a chatterbox is like coming on. So I'm going to stop. But I love you guys so much. So, so much. <laughs> Babe, are you down here? You're not down here, are you? Okay. Sorry, I had to check y'all. This is like, he didn't walk down here like three times already. It's like a whole hour later, still not dressed. I just finished my vows though. Super emotional, of course. I'm gonna have to kind of hurry up and do my makeup and my hair. And we really want to do our vows before G Day comes, who's doing our pictures. Thank you, shout out to G Day. So he's coming and we wanted to get our vows and stuff done before that so we can just worry about our pictures and stuff. So I need to hurry up. <laughs> oh, I'm getting married. Ah. I have to keep saying it to like realize, like, Kiana, you're getting married today. Like, I'm so happy. She's a ride, B. She's a ride, B. <laughs> uh, guys, I put my little veil. Put my little veil on. Luckily, it's just a little clip. Uh, I'm dressed. Let me try to give y'all a look, B. The full look. <laughs> so obviously, it's not a traditional wedding dress. It's fine. I like it. I think you'll like it. Let me go get my husband, y'all. Do I look cute? Do you like it? Yeah, you got your little thing on the back. Yeah, my veil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm popping it. 
I didn't straighten. I mean, I didn't curl my hair. So. Thank you for your love. Thank you for being kind. I'm on nerves. That's just you and how you would have done above all else, God. So as we stand before God and surrender our marriage virginity with pure hearts, motives, I want to say thank you for trusting me in our golden years. Kiana, thank you for being my listening ear. Thank you for your kind touch when you want to be nice. I've got to be that friend to share moments of talking, laughing, and listening with you. I vow to learn how to find ways to love you in tough seasons. I vow to grow and to also shoot our lives together. I vow to love you even when you feel insecure and frustrated. I vow to make you feel safe and comforted while I'm with you. When I'm not there, know that our perfect God will be there to cover every area that I may have missed. Team Norman, no matter what, you, me, and God. <laughs> okay. Today's the day, baby. Not just the day that we get to have unguilted sex, <laughs> but the day that we get to cherish for the rest of our lives. I'm so incredibly lucky to call you mine. A man that has shown me that I can rely on you, I can trust you, that you'll hold me up when I'm low, that you'll love on me when I can't even love on myself. You show me what patience and understanding looks like. And it's not just when things are good that you show me this, you show it even when it's hard. Even when I make you mad, you make me feel incredibly special that I get a love like this, so pure and so true. I'm really thankful for that. God put us together. So baby, I vow not to only be your wife, but to be your forever partner. I vow to support your wild dreams and to push you to dream even bigger. I vow to always protect you from harm and to stand with you in troubles and in your low seasons. I vow to honor you and to cherish you as if every day was your last. I promise with God's help to be your guiding light in the dark and to be your comfort when things are cold. I used to dream of a man that would be as loving and supporting as you are, but God decided, as he typically does, to go even bigger and better when giving me you. A man who loves the Lord, who pushes me and allows me to be fully myself, who lifts me up, who makes my dreams a reality. And shows me and grows with me. So today, my husband, I invite you to share this, in this life with me. Got on my dress. Had to find my spot. <laughs> I promise to always be in your corner. Together with God's grace, I know we can do anything. I choose to step on this tight rope with no net today, tomorrow, and through whatever life belongs at us. And I love you forever, no matter what. So, as the officiant, do you take me <laughs> to be your wife forever and ever? I do. I'll take you as well. I love you. I want to be in this forever. Okay? I do. <laughs> <laughs> confused when we're playing Monopoly we're throwing cash if you catch it we get keep it if it falls on the ground we don't keep it so guess who winning Guess who winning? Guess who winning? 
The beautiful city.